ممتاز واضح واضح والسكرين واضحه اوكي okay, تمام Uh, today I will speak about the immunosuppressant and complications in heart transplant. Um, my objective is clear. Immunos I will start with immunosuppressants, then the complications. So uh, to start with the medications, uh, glucocorticoids, uh, uh, prednisone, is the chief oral glucocorticoids uh, anti-inflammatory. Uh, effect, its effect is mediated by its intracellular block on the nuclear uh, factor, uh, kappa B pathway. Uh, glucocorticoids affect the adaptive immunity by reducing the dendritic uh, antigen presenting cell function uh, and number of uh, CD cells. At higher doses of glucocorticoids, it causes production of anti HLA antibodies. Um, Every transplant physician should be aware about the risk of increased infection with the use of glucocorticoids. Uh, glucocorticoids reduce the innate immunity by uh, its effect on uh, neutrophils, adherence and trafficking, uh, phagocytosis, and the expression of pro-inflammatory mediators. Uh, finally, uh, glucocorticoids also adversely affect the wound healing by reducing monocyte number and their entry to the wound. Uh, also by limiting the fibrocytes the glucocorticoids further reduce the wound healing. Uh, purine analogues, azathioprin and uh, mycophenolate uh, moftil or silcept. Uh, silcept and its active metabolites, uh, mycophenolic uh, phenolic acid, alter the purine synthesis by inhibiting uh, inosine monophosphate uh, dehydrogenase. Uh, MMF is uh, more selective anti-metabolic because uh, lymphocytes are dependent on the uh, IMPH uh, D4 conversion. Uh, the targeting of uh, T and B lymphocyte has increased the risk of infection, uh, particularly from cytomegalovirus. Uh, the most important adverse effect by the uh, cell cell are variety of uh, GI uh, symptoms. Calcineurin inhibitors, uh, cyclosporin and uh, tacrolimus, FK506, calcineurin inhibitors impede the critical intracellular signal pathway initiated with activation of T cell receptor. Also, calcineurin uh, uh, inhibitors affect B cell indirectly by their effect on reducing the uh, helper cell. Uh, both affect the uh, nuclear uh, factor of activated T cells. Uh, cyclosporin bind, uh, binds cyclophilines and uh, tacrolimus to FK binding proteins. Calcineurin inhibitors can cause acute and chronic kidney injury. Also, uh, it is uh, diabetogenic uh, by uh, reducing uh, the production and release of uh, insulin. Also, it can cause severe neurological complications ranging from uh, tremor to seizure and coma. Uh, other complications include uh, hyperlipidemia, cholestasis, and uh, malignancies, especially skin cancer and uh, non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, proliferation uh, uh, signal inhibitors, um, mechanistic target of rapamycin inhibitor or mTOR inhibitors, like uh, sirolimus and uh, ebrolimus, are uh, proliferation signal inhibitors that inhibit uh, serine uh, threonine protein kinase, uh, which is part of multiple pathway necessary for cell activation, proliferation and vascular endothelial growth factor uh, production. Uh, it can um, also affect wound healing. Uh, it's unlike other immune uh, suppressant, uh, mTOR inhibitor decrease the tumor associated with the transplant probably due to their global inhibition of angiogenesis and uh, cellular pro proliferation. Uh, these drugs uh, have found more secondary role as a um, replacement or addition to the uh, lower doses of uh, calcineurin inhibitor for nephrotoxicity and uh, cancer, neurological complication and uh, resistant uh, rejection. Uh, monoclonal uh, antibodies, uh, anti-interleukin-2 are antibody uh, Basiliximab 
is the human mouse uh, antibody that target interleukin 2 alpha chain, anti-CD25. Uh, this limit the proliferation of T cell response. Uh, Anti-CD20 antibody, rituximab, uh, deplete the mature B cells by complement mediated cytotoxicity and uh, antibody dependent uh, cell toxicity. This drug has been used to treat antibody mediated allograft rejection, uh, but its effect is limited. Uh, this is because uh, it has a little effect on plasma cells or mature antibody uh, secreting cells that don't express uh, CD20. Uh, a proteasome uh, uh, velcad prevents uh, prevent uh, degeneration of uh, pre apoptotic factors. Uh, velcad has been approved for treatment of uh, persistent uh, uh, antibody mediated rejection of cardiac allograft. Uh, its complications include or side effects uh, it cause uh, peripheral neuropathy. Uh, myelosuppression, suppression, uh, varicella zoster, also infection. Um, Anti-CD52 antibody, almitzumab, is active against is active against CD52, which is a glycoprotein expressed by T and B lymphocyte, macrophage, monocyte, and natural killer cells. This agent has been shown to reduce the act. Uh, the uh, reduce the acute uh, rejection episode, but may increase the risk of cancer. It also has the trick infection associated profile due to its deeply and persistently uh, su uh, suppressive effect. Uh, cytotoxic uh, T lymphocyte associated uh, protein 4, uh, it limits the T cell response. Polyclonal uh, antibodies. Um, anti-thymocyte uh, anti globulin. Uh, it caused depletion of T cells and impaired the natural killer cells and reduced the B cells. It's associated with increased risk of cytomegalovirus infection due to its uh, broadly acting immunosuppression. Uh, IV immunoglobulin, uh, its effectiveness is believed to be due to presence of anti uh, adiotypic antibodies and its ability to block the complement binding target cell and molecules. So this is the end of first objective. Uh, just this, uh, this picture, this is from King Faisal Hospital protocol for heart transplant patient. This is what we, uh, what we are giving uh, the patients pre-op patient receive, uh, receive cell sept one gram as a single dose and in OR uh, at induction time before cl unclamping the aorta and during the CSICO admission from day one up to six months. But here just I want to elaborate about one thing. We need to do uh, uh, RV biopsy two weeks after the transplantation to check if there is any uh, rejection. So uh, to the complications, acute rejection uh, alloimmunology, cardiac allograft rejection is the normal host response to cell recognized as a non-self. The majority of cases are mediated by cellular limb of immune response through cascade involving macrophage, cytokines, and T lymphocyte. Antibody-mediated rejection, also called humoral rejection or vascular rejection, is less common. The highest risk factor are allograft from younger and female donor, respective for recipient sex. Uh, although about 85% uh, of episodes can be reversed with uh, corticosteroid therapy alone, rejection is still a major cause of morbidity in cardiac transplant recipients. Hyperacute rejection uh, result from a uh, uh, preformed uh, donor specific antibody in the recipient, uh, ABO blood group, and um, uh, penetrative active antigen screening have made this condition rare complication. Uh, the onset of hyperacute rejection occurs within minutes to several hours after transplantation, and the result is cat uh, catastrophic. So, uh, gross inspection reveals a mottled or dark red flaccid allograft, 
and uh, histologic examination confirm the characteristic of global interstitial hemorrhage and edema uh, without lymphatic infiltration. Immune fluorescence technique reveal a de uh, deposit of immunoglobulin and complement on the vascular endothelium. Uh, immediate plasma freezes, uh, IVIG, the mechanical support are immediately inst instituted and retransplantation may be the only successful strategy. Diagnosis of acute rejection. The classical clinical manifestation of acute rejection include low-grade fever, malaise, leukocytosis, uh, supraventricular arrhythmias, decreased voltage on ECG, low cardiac output, reduced exercise tolerance, and signs of congestive heart failure. Uh, right ventricular endomyocardial biopsy remains the gold standard for diagnosis of acute rejection. Uh, biopsy is performed initially every seven to 10 days in the early post-operative period and eventually tapered to three to six months interval after first year. In case of suspicion of rejection, additional biopsies uh, is warranted. A further elaboration for the, uh, of the pathological features and identification of uh, antibody-mediated rejection have been addressed in 2004, the International Society for Heart Lung Transplant Pathology Council proposed a diagnostic category for cellular rejection uh, to mild, moderate, and severe, and the identification of histological characteristic of uh, uh, AMR. So in this table, we can see for the grading of acute cellular rejection, grade 0R, it means no rejection. Grade 1R, it is mild, there is interstitial and or uh, prevascular infiltrate with up to one focus of myocyte damage. Grade 2R, which is moderate, uh, means two or more foci of infiltrate with associated uh, monocyte damage. Grade 3R uh, means uh, severe diffuse infiltrate with uh, multifocal myocyte damage, plus minus edema, plus minus uh, hemorrhage, plus minus vasculitis. And this table is for acute antibody-mediated antibody uh, rejection. Uh, AMR0 means uh, negative for acute antibody-mediated rejection. No histological or immunopathologic features of AMR. AMR1 means positive for uh, antibody -mediated, acute antibody-mediated rejection with histological features and positive for immunofluorescence or immuno peroxidase uh, staining for AMR, uh, positive CD68, C40. Uh, Non-invasive studies for diagnosis of acute rejection have been unreliable. ECHO, ECG, MRI have not provided sufficient sensitivity or specificity. Prophylaxis and treatment of acute rejection. Current trends suggest to lower use of cyclosporin A compared with tacrolimus based calcineurin inhibition. Uh, MMF is the most commonly used uh, adjunctive agent. Uh, corticosteroids are the cornerstone for anti-rejection therapy. The treatment of a choice for any rejection episode occurring during the first one, uh, during the first to uh, th uh, uh, third uh, post-operative month of uh, a or um, an episode considered to be uh, severe is the short course, three days of IV uh, methylprednisolone, one gram per day. Uh, all other episodes are treated initially with increased the dose of prednisone, uh, 100 milligram per day, followed by tapering to baseline over several weeks. Uh, repeat endomyocardial biopsy should be performed seven to 10 days after the cessation of anti-rejection therapy to assist the adequacy of the treatment. If the biopsy does not show significant improvement, second trial of pulse steroid therapy is recommended. If rejection is, uh, has been progressed or patient became hemodynamically unstable, so rescue therapy is indicated. Severe rejection with cardiogenic shock require ECMO support during the aggressive drug therapy. Also, cardiac retransplantation is the ultimate uh, therapeutic option for patients who don't uh, respond. Uh, Antibody-mediated rejection. Uh, it's mediated by a humoral limb of immune response. 
uh, unlike acute cellular rejection, hemodynamic instability requiring inotropic support is common in patients with uh, vascular rejection or antibody mediated rejection. So, say, uh, diagnosis requires evidence of endothelial cell swelling on life microscopy and immunoglobulin uh, complement deposition by immunofluorescence technique. Uh, aggressive treatments uh, of patients with allograft dysfunction consist of uh, plasmapheresis, high dose corticosteroids, heparin, IgG, and cyclophosphamide. Despite this intervention, symptomatic acute vascular rejection is associated with higher mortality. So now we'll move to the infectious complications in heart transplantation. Uh, organism and timing of the infections. Uh, infection is leading cause of morbidity and mortality in the cardiac transplant population. Patients are, are uh, at high risk of uh, life-threatening infections in the first three months after transplantation, following increased immunosuppression for acute rejection episode, uh, and in case of retransplantation. This schedule is showing the early and late infections causes uh, of the infections. Uh, so to start with pneumonia, it can be caused by gram-negative bacilli, uh, mediastinitis, uh, catheter-associated uh, bacteremia, it could be due to staph epidermis, urinary tract infection, uh, um, mucocutaneous infection uh, like herpes simplex. Uh, late infections uh, can be caused by pneumonia, either diffused interstitial pneumonia, uh, uh, it can be caused by pneumocystis carini, uh, uh, car uh, carini or cytomegalovirus. virus. Uh, lower or nodular uh, cavitary pneumonia can be caused by uh, aspergillus, uh, central nervous system infections. Um, it can cause abscess or meningitis phylitis, um, GI infections, uh, cutaneous infections. Uh, preventive measures and prophylaxis uh, against infections. Uh, transmission of infections such as cytomegalovirus, toxoplasma, uh, hepatitis B virus, or C, HIV after organ transplantation is well documented. Prevention of post-operative infection uh, begin with pre-transplant screening of donor and uh, recipient, as Dr. Faisal said, pre-op assessment. So uh, this is guideline for routine screening and the prophylaxis of uh, infections in heart transplantation. Uh, Pre-op screening for the donor, it's include the HIV, HPV, HCV, cytomegalovirus, and toxoplasma. Also nowadays, nowadays uh, coronavirus. Uh, for the um, same tests for the donor, we are doing it uh, also for the uh, recipient. Uh, so, uh, the bacterial causes uh, uh, of infection, uh, like a gram-negative bacilli, are the most common cause of uh, bacterial infection, uh, infectious complication following heart transplantation. Uh, e. coli and uh, Zoodomonarginosa are the most uh, prevalent organism, usually caused uh, urinary tract infection and uh, pneumonia. Uh, Staphylococcus species have been shown to cause the majority of gram-positive related infections. Uh, viruses, cytomegalovirus, remain the uh, single most important cause of infection, uh, of infectious disease, morbidity, and mortality in heart transplant patient. Uh, cytomegalovirus not only result in uh, infectious disease syndrome, but also it um, is indirectly associated with acute rejection episode, acceleration of um, uh, vasculopathy, uh, and uh, post-transplant lymphoproliferative disease. Uh, reduction, also it can cause reduction in leukocyte. Uh, so uh, the reduction in leukocyte associated with cytomegalovirus uh, infection uh, it's predis uh, predisposed patient to super infection with other uh, pathogens like pneumocystis uh, causing pneumonia. A variable regimen for cytomegalovirus prophylaxis with, uh, with uh, gancyclovir are being used by different centers. The standard of care for symptomatic cytomegalovirus disease is two, uh, is two to three weeks of IV uh, gancyclovir 
a dose of 5 milligram by uh, uh, per kg twice daily with dose adjustment for renal dysfunction. Uh, Epstein Barr virus infection may be associated with the post transplant lymphoproliferative disorder and the immunocompromised host. Fungi, uh, mucocutaneous candidiasis is common and usually can be treated with uh, topical antifungal agents, uh, nystatin or uh, clotrimazole. Uh, fluconazole is uh, indicated for candidiasis refractory to this therapy uh, or involving esophagus. Aspergillus is the opportunistic pathogen with the highest attributable mortality. Uh, it causes uh, serious pneumonia uh, in uh, five to 10 percent of recipients during the first three months after transplantation. Uh, dissemination of aspergillus to the central nervous system is almost fatal. Uh, amphotericin B. Uh, itraconazole and uh, uh, voriconazole are acceptable therapy. Protozoa, uh, the reported incidence of uh, P. carini uh, pneumonia ranges from less than 1 to 10 percent because the organism uh, uh, resides in the alveoli, so bronchoalveolar lavage usually necessary for the diagnosis. Uh, it is treated with uh, high dose uh, trimethoprim, sulfamethoxazole, or IV uh, bentamidine. Toxoplasmosis following heart transplantation usually is the result of uh, reactivation of latent disease in the seropositive donor heart. The diagnosis is made with uh, certainty only by histologic demonstration of uh, trophozoites uh, with the surrounding inflammation and biopsy tissue. Uh, toxoplasmosis usually causes a central nervous system infection and is treated by uh, with uh, uh, pyrimethamine uh, with uh, sulfur uh, thiazin or clindamycin. Uh, chronic complications following heart transplantation. A cardiac allograft vasculopathy is a unique, probably progressive form of atherosclerosis in transplant recipients. It's characterized by uh, early stages by intimal proliferation and late stages by luminal stenosis of epicardial branches, occlusion of smaller arteries and myocardial infarction. Uh, Long-term survival of cardiac transplant recipient is limited primarily by the development of um, uh, cardiac allograft vasculopathy the leading cause of death after first post-transplant year. Uh, angiography, uh, detectable uh, CAV is uh, reported in approximately 40 to 50% of patients by five years after transplantation. Although CAV resemble atherosclerosis, there are some important differences. As we can see here in this picture, the intimal proliferation is concentric rather than eccentric and the lesion are diffused, involving both distal and proximal portion of the uh, coronary artery. Uh, the detailed uh, pathogenesis of uh, CAV, uh, CAV is unknown, but there are strong indications that immunologic mechanism that are regulated by non-immunologic risk factors are the major cause of this phenomenon. So the immunologic mechanism include the acute rejection and anti-HLA antibodies, and some of the implicated risk factors uh, relating the transplant itself or the recipient are uh, donor age, uh, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and pre-existing diabetes. Also side effect associated with uh, immunosuppression with calcineurin inhibitors or corticosteroids, for example, uh, CMV infection, uh, nephrotoxicity, and new onset uh, diabetes after transplantation also play a significant role. Um, CAV is, um, um, may begin with uh, several weeks post-transplantation and progress insidiously at um, uh, uh, an accelerated rate to complete obliteration of the coronary lumen with allograft failure secondary to ischemia. Uh, the diagnosis of uh, CAV is difficult 
and complicated by allograft de denervation, uh, resulting in silent myocardial ischemia. Uh, ventricular arrhythmia, congestive heart failure, sudden death, are commonly initial presentation uh, for, uh, of uh, significant CAV. Uh, annu uh, annual coronary angio usually uh, performed for uh, CAV surveillance and remain the diagnostic standard of care. The only definitive treatment is retransplantation. Owing to diffuse and distal nature of the disease, procedures such as stenting and uh, angioplasty are less effective uh, than in non-transplant patient and result in higher need for repeating the procedure. Uh, renal dysfunction. Risk of death after heart transplantation is markedly increased by development of end-stage renal failure. Uh, cyclosporin nephrotoxicity after heart transplantation is well recognized and documented. Uh, lowering cyclosporin dose may be helpful in slowing the progression of renal disease, especially with concomitant use of a newer immunosuppressive regimens such as uh, MMF or serolimus. Uh, hypertension. Moderate to severe systemic hypertension uh, reflects 50 to 90% of cardiac transplant recipients. Peripheral vasoconstriction in combination with the fluid retention seems to play a greatest role. The exact mechanism, it's not clear. Uh, it's likely involved combination of cyclosporin induced tubular nephrotoxicity and vasoconstriction of renal and systemic arterioles mediated by uh, sympathetic neural activation. Sacrolimus is associated with lower incidence of hypertension than in cyclosporin. Uh, no single class of antihypertensive agent has proven uniformly effective, and the treatment of this refractory hypertension remains difficult. Uh, malignancy, chronic immunosuppression, is associated with increased incidence of malignancy ranging uh, from uh, 4 to 8, 18%. Malignant neoplasias have become, uh, along with uh, graft vasculopathy, significant limiting factor for the long-term survival of heart transplant recipient. Uh, lymphoproliferative disorder and carcinoma of skin are the most common malignancies found in heart transplant recipient. Uh, loss of T lymphocyte control over the Epstein Barr virus uh, stimulated uh, uh, B lymphocyte proliferation. Uh, appears to be the primary mechanism for development of uh, lymphoproliferative disorder. Uh, treatment option in transplant and in transplantation include reduction uh, in immunosuppression, initiation of high dose acyclovir to attenuate the Epstein Barr virus replication. Also, in addition to the conventional therapies for carcinoma, uh, chemotherapy, radiation, surgical resection, which is associated with very high risk. Uh, other chronic complications uh, like uh, hyperlipidemia eventually develop in the majority of recipients and managed with uh, dietary restriction, exercise, lipid lowering agent. Other complications uh, like osteoporosis, obesity, cachexia, uh, GI complications like uh, uh, cholelithiasis. So uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you so much. Any questions? So guys, uh, I don't know, Ahmed, if you know, or anybody, uh, initiating the, um, uh, yeah, like a turbo, for example, for lipid and so on, high, uh, high cholesterol or something. So it's not, it's not essential in, in such patients, yeah, in post-heart transplant, uh, at, yeah, unless we have evidence of uh, high uh, lipid profile. Am I right? I, know I, I saw somebody doing this and see, I see somebody's doing that. I'm not sure I had.